Hello, hello, welcome back to Danny's channel. Today we are going to learn five important phrase over that we need to know in English about money, about credit, and so on. The first one is to ask for a loan. Bueno, some phrase over. To ask for a loan is English significa pedir un préstamo. To ask for a loan, pedir un préstamo, el banco, etc., etc. El siguiente es to pay off. To pay off a loan. To pay off a loan is liquidar o pagar un préstamo. Liquidar o pagar un préstamo. El siguiente es to stay behind with, with the payment. Or with the payment. To stay behind with a payment. Que es retrasarse con un pago. Retrasarse con un pago. Por ejemplo, me estoy retrasando con el pago. I'm o oh, I am staying behind with the payment. I am staying behind with the payment. Ya sabéis, stay behind with the payment es pues retrasarse con el pago de algo, con los estudios, etc. La siguiente es to save up money. To save up money. Eso por eso okay. que to save up money. Save up money significa en inglés ahorrar con el objetivo de, de hacer algo, comprar algo, etc. etc. Por ejemplo, I'm saving up, I'm saving up money. To buy a house, to buy a car, to do something. I'm saving up money to... etc. etc. Save up. Ahorrar, ahorrar con el motivo de algo. El siguiente es... To cash in money. To cash in money. To cash in money. Si fíjate en inglés, retira el dinero o del cajero, etc. etc. a ser efectivo. Y el siguiente es... To overpay. Overpay o overpay. Significa en castellano, significa pagar demasiado, pagar más de lo que tienes que pagar. Vamos a ver unos pequeños ejemplos ahora. Por ejemplo, un ejemplo es aquí, pues voy a pedir un préstamo. I'm going to ask, to ask for a loan. I'm going to ask for a loan. El siguiente es, voy a liquidar el préstamo. I'm going to pay off my loan. I'm going to pay off my loan. El siguiente es, me voy a retrasar con el pago de la hipoteca. I'm going to stay behind with the payment of my mortgage. Or I am going to stay behind with my studies, with the thing that I have to do, and so on. ¿Sabe que ese stay behind es quedarse atrás, retrasarse con algo, con un trabajo, una tarea, etcétera, etcétera? Me estoy quedando atrás en los estudios. I'm staying behind with my status. I'm staying behind with something, all right? Just the second one is to cash in. Que es retirar dinero, hacer dinero, hacer efectivo. Por ejemplo, voy a cambiar o voy a retirar 20 euros del cajero. I'm going to cash in 20 euros from the cashier or from the ATM. La palabra ATM significa en inglés ATM. Significa... Cajero automático. Automatically machine, que es cajero automático en América. Y el siguiente es, ya sabéis, it's overpay. Por ejemplo, he pagado demasiado por los zapatos, por la comida, por algo. I have overpaid, en pasado, I have overpaid for my shoes, for my car, for my crayon, for something, right? Thank you very much, and I hope you love my English today. So, as you know, I speak very quiet. It means relax, very simple, very slow, so you can understand what I'm saying, all right? Thank you very much, and if you have any question, please do not hesitate. I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you. This is my number, please. This is my number. This is my number, 679-782371. Also, what's up? If you want to participate in my classes, if you want to take some English lesson with Benny, one of the best teachers of Bilbao, please, of this wonderful city, please ring me up, give me a call, send me a WhatsApp, and we're going to talk about this. See ya!